inevitable. Thanos Anatomy explored the physiological details of Marvel's deadliest villain. Thanos is undoubtedly one of the most powerful entities in the Marvel Universe, and this mad titan has gone to unimaginable lengths, such as even wiping out half the population. While Thanos has been at his most powerful self with the help of the Infinity Stones and Gauntlet, he also has some extraordinary physical features that make him quite a threat. His unique physiology has helped him gain immense durability and strength, and he certainly stands out among other Marvel villains due to his alien physiology. Let us explore his unique features and have a look at the anatomical details of the Mad Titan. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Is Thanos a member of the Eternals? Thanos is one of the Eternals, a race of humanoids created by godlike entities called the Celestials. These Celestials had experimented on the Eternals as well as humans, and they were even responsible for creating the X gene and the Deviant Syndrome. This Deviant Syndrome was present in some Eternals as a mutated gene, making them appear as a hideous religious race that seemed much messier than the scientifically oriented and aesthetic Eternals. Deviants carried a specific mutation that was not repeated or seen in any other species, and some of these deviants appeared in the form of monsters that were immortalized in human mythology. Thanos was one of the Eternals who was born with the Deviant Gene, leading him to develop Deviant Syndrome. He was born to the Titanian Eternals, Alars and Suisan, who were mortified to see their son's appearance. This syndrome significantly contributed to his physical appearance and even gave Thanos his trademark chin. Thanos' appearance was so disturbing that even his mother tried to end his life when he was born on Saturn's moon of Titan. His deviant gene even gave him a distorted appearance and purple-tinted skin, and he stood out among the other entities on Titan. What is the secret behind the brute strength of Thanos? Thanos can appear as a highly intimidating entity who towers over others, and he is around 6 feet 7 inches tall. Thanos is even scarier because he weighs approximately 985 pounds. This means that his weight is almost half a ton, which seems a little disproportionate to his height. Thanos' weight is also the secret behind his brute strength, as he can hold anything or throw people around without batting an eyelash. In the MCU, it is stated that Thanos can lift up to 120 million pounds, and we have even seen him easily defeat Hulk at one point as well. Thanos' weight does not match his height, and fans even wonder how he is able to balance his body weight at all. However, this is not a huge concern for the Mad Titan, who has always used his weight as an advantage, and even overpowered many strong entities in the MCU. Thanos also happens to be unbelievably durable. Besides being extremely strong, it is seen that Thanos is also highly durable and has withstood many life-threatening attacks without even batting an eyelash. Since Thanos essentially belonged to the race of Titans, he had inherited his increased durability and resilience due to his Titanian physiology. Additionally, the power of the Infinity Gauntlet even made him more durable, as he had reached near invincibility after gathering all of the Infinity Stones. Thanos can endure powerful attacks without suffering damage, and even regrow his limbs or head in just a moment. The Infinity Stones had given him a regenerative healing factor that allowed him to heal any injuries quickly while also giving him enhanced strength and durability. Did you know that Thanos is incredibly fast? Beside being incredibly durable and strong, Thanos could also move at incredibly fast speeds while going after his opponents. While Thanos is usually associated with strength rather than speed, there have been countless instances in the comics wherein Thanos has moved at a super speed and gotten the best of his victims. In fact, he had once even outrun Silver Surfer, known for traveling at the speed of light. During this story arc, Silver Surfer had accessed the energy of the Power Cosmic to enhance his his strength and speed, so it was even more surprising to see that Thanos still managed to defeat him. Thanos did not need super speed to travel to places since he could even teleport or travel with the help of a spacecraft. 
but he could move incredibly fast on his own if he ever felt like it. Was his special physical condition caused by a genetic mutation? Thanos belonged to the mighty race of Eternals, who resided in an underground city on Saturn's moon, Titan. As one of the Titans born in this place, Thanos should have been one of the most revered creatures in the universe. However, he was born with the Deviant Syndrome caused due to a deviant gene present in his body. When Thanos was born, his mother, Sui San, could not bear to see him as he was born with a disfigured body and unappealing features. Sui San even went insane after having one look at him, and she was then after sent off to an asylum due to her mental state. His condition was caused due to the deviant genetic mutation, and it was so rare that he was the only one to have this syndrome in the entire city. Trying to grasp the true extent of his powers, Thanos was born to two powerful Eternals known as Alars and Sui San, which meant that he was born with cosmic powers that were beyond the imagination of mere mortals. His cosmic powers were on a whole different level than most superheroes, and he could absorb and manipulate cosmic energy to enhance his powers. He could even manipulate the energy of the entire universe to create new planets or destroy old planets, and he could even manipulate any object or weapon. He could project energy into the universe and even manipulate matter, making him capable of doing just about anything. Besides being extremely powerful, Thanos was also exceptionally gifted, and he used his powers to the best of his abilities. He was a master strategist capable of formulating tricky plans that allowed him to stay one step ahead of his opponents at all times. He was even skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and swordsmanship, and he had even defeated massive armies without anyone else's help in some instances. Did you know that Thanos is quite a love addict? While Thanos appears to be a pretty tough-hearted guy, he is quite open to falling in love and has even been portrayed as one of the loneliest villains in the Marvel Universe. While most villains have some form of social support or at least an army of followers, Thanos mainly operated alone and was even shunned by his family ever since birth. He grew up to crave affection and love, and his need for affection and affiliation eventually boiled down to how he was treated by his mother and family. After establishing his himself as one of the most formidable villains in the universe. Thanos often tried to seek attachments or even fall in love, and he went to great lengths to catch Lady Death's attention. In Thanos Rising, he even states that he only wants to love someone who loves him back, and one even feels sympathy for this lone villain who wishes to be in love. At the end of the day, Thanos is still an evil guy who destroyed half of the universe, but there is a chance that he might have turned out differently if he had received the love and attention he wanted. Could Thanos reproduce? Why didn't his children resemble him? Thanos certainly had the ability to reproduce, and he had actually fathered numerous children all across the universe. However, something was wrong with his genetics, and none of his children resembled him. According to the Thanos Rising story arc, Thanos tried to breed numerous children with women from different alien races, but all these children looked like their mothers. Only one of Thanos' children, named Thane, did resemble Thanos to some extent and even have a purple tint to his body. At one point, Thanos even fathered children with humans. However, his children always resembled their mothers, and Thanos had difficulty accepting this. He even went as far as tracking most of them, and then even killing them out of anger. What makes Thanos smarter than the likes of Bruce Banner and Tony Stark? Apparently, Thanos was also an extremely intelligent being regarded as one of the most brilliant minds in the universe. He was a skilled tactician who knew how to trap his opponents, and his strategic planning almost never failed him. He was also a scientist who could work with DNA, make robots, and even work with reasonably advanced technology. It is stated that Thanos even surpasses Dr. Bruce Banner when it comes to smartness. In Thanos vs. Hulk, Thanos Thanos even tells Hulk he is intelligent only by Earth standards, implying that he is much more accomplished and smarter than Banner. Thanos had brains and brawn, and he could process information ranging from science and technology to even mystical arts. He could comprehend things that were difficult to process to a regular mind, and his high intellect only made him an even more powerful entity. He could also use the powers of the Infinity Stones to manipulate time, energy, and the mere fabric of reality. His intelligence combined with the power of the stones truly made him one of the most undefeatable foes in the MCU.
Is Thanos immortal or can he be destroyed? Since Thanos is essentially an eternal, he is immortal and cannot die in any regular way. His body remains unaffected by the effects of physical aging or any diseases and infections, and he can supposedly live forever, as long as an even more powerful being does not destroy him. As an eternal, Thanos could live without food and water and was immune to most human weapons. Most eternals do live forever, but Thanos was an even more powerful being in some ways since he was essentially banned from the Death Realm. Thanos was especially immortal after his encounters with his true love, Lady Death, and he even went as far as to collect the Infinity Stones to wipe out half the world and impress her. Thanos did have a special connection with Death, and he was even seen talking to her on several occasions. However, Lady Death eventually forbade Thanos from entering her Death Realm, which further implies that he may just live forever. While it was assumed that Thanos is immortal, he has been defeated on a few occasions in the MCU. Thor had tried to defeat Thanos in Avengers Infinity War by stabbing him in the chest with his new axe, Stormbreaker. While Thanos gets injured, he recovers from the attack and tells Thor that he should have gone for the head instead. Finally, Thor goes for Thanos' head in Avengers Endgame and succeeds in defeating him after all. In Endgame, Iron Man even managed to get his hands on the Infinity Stones from Thanos' gauntlet and then snapped the Mad Titan into oblivion. some of the lesser-known deadly powers of Thanos. Besides being super strong and intelligent, Thanos had some underrated powers, such as forming telepathic connections, jumping from one universe to another, and even absorbing energy. He could create meaningful telepathic connections with his opponents and even read their minds. He could also manipulate their minds and cause them to see projections that trick them into believing his illusions, and he could even perform mind lobotomies in extreme conditions. Thanos had the ability to to weasel out of difficult situations by simply jumping through one universe. While he hardly got into such challenging scenarios, he did use his ability to find a different place in the multiverse where he could exist under different scenarios. Since there were different versions of the universe where every being performed slightly different actions with varying outcomes, Thanos used his ability to jump through these universes to get himself out of trouble. Moreover, he was not even affected by any of these travels, and he remained in perfect health even after living in different different universes with varying atmospheres and environments. Moreover, he could absorb as well as release energy from any part of his body in the form of cosmic rays that harm his opponents. He once shot cosmic rays out of his eyes and hands to defeat Quasar in the Infinity Gauntlet story arc. Not just that, he had once even defeated the powerful Galactus with his ability to shoot energy. I do not take seriously, boy. It's you. Conclusion to sum it up, the Mad Titan is undoubtedly one of the most powerful entities to ever have existed in the Marvel Universe, and he has immortalized his name in the history of pop culture. Along with the powers of the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos' physiological details have also played a considerable role in making him such a formidable entity. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone. Unknowing.